cracked pads. In this edition of Energy Secrets, we're gonna be discussing crack pads, five new alternative remedies that may be really helpful for your dog and or your cat. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. I'd love for you to check out my new Patreon page. You can click the link below for more information where a small monthly donation can help me make more of these videos. So let's just say your dog, your cat, they've been limping. Tula was doing a bit of limping, happened about last week. And you do a brief exam, as I did on little Tula. This pad up here on her left rear foot was fairly thick and dry and she had a big split just almost along the center. So she was limping. She was pretty sore about a week ago. I jumped in, treated her. Within about two days, she was healed. So unfortunately, I should have done the video then. Now that it looks great. But that being said, I can show you what I used. I've got some other suggestions as well. One of the traditional things that I used to consistently advise to use, you know, while in vet practice and even throughout some of the videos, is this, petroleum jelly or Vaseline. So it's a petroleum-based product. Yeah, it seems to help for many of the guys that have sort of cracked pads, some of these elbow calluses. But first of all, it's petroleum. You know, it's this oil-based thing, definitely far from being natural. and. Secondly, too, it's not necessarily, you know, helping that damaged tissue or that damaged pad. What it's doing is just providing this, almost think about it as a barrier layer, and it's keeping the moisture in, hence it, you know, and gives some protection to it, then allowing the body a chance to heal. Could that stuff work? Yes, it could, but I want to give you some other natural options, and I'll show you what I used last time with Tula. I wanted to give her one, something that's going to give some additional moisture, bring that healthy fat back into the, the damaged pad. Secondly, may, maybe also give some natural pain relief. And the first big thing that came to mind for me, and which worked really well for her, is this. This is CBD oil. So it's the CBD, it's the non-psychoactive -psycho portion of the cannabis plant. And it's in an MCT, or it's actually, actually a coconut oil base. So one, it's gonna provide one, it's gonna retain some moisture back into that pad, help it heal on its own. Secondly, give it some natural pain control. So I just put it directly on her pad. And the other big thing is putting it on here. It means that she could lick it off. Good girl, Tula. I'll show you here where we put it. Oh, maybe I won't show her, show you. Okay, take two. So let's show you this pad on the back. Good girl. You know what, let's just show them how easy it is to put on your pad. And I just put two or three drops. I just flip your foot up. Let's imagine it's here. And you can see it slowly get absorbed into the pad itself. Then I just kind of rubbed it in, right? The next thing you could consider and what I would first jump to mind was the coconut oil. So this is it here. And you could just directly put that on your dog's pad, your cat's pad. The other bonus benefit is safe for your dog or cat to consume. It's also got some antibacterial, anti-inflammatory properties to it. And Tula likes it. Good girl, Tula, here's your coconut treat. So Matt, oh good girl, <laughs> imagine this is on your pad. And what are you going to do? You just want to make sure that enough of it melts and it works its way into the pad itself. Also works really well. You've got some, you know, calluses, crack parts of your hands. My heels are starting to crack because it's winter. An awesome natural option. Mmm, there, Tula. Have some coconut oil. Yum. The fourth thing I want to have you guys consider is a product called Shea Butter. Here is some of it here. It comes from Africa, so it's an African tree. And so many people have had some really good results with it themselves for this sort of dry, 
skin, you know, these cracked, they get cracked areas of their skin and maybe other cracked feet. And once again, it's a completely natural product. I mean, this little jar here, it's not cheap, it cost me about $10. So I'm gonna try, try it on Tula, also knowing that if she does consume it, it's not going to harm her. So it's pretty firm as you guys can see there, right? A little bit firmer than the coconut oil. And let's put a little bit on. I think the one big advantage uh, to it is that it sticks around a bit. You know where the coconut oil instantly softens and it seems like it's absorbed, it's not necessarily gonna last. This is definitely more like a butter. So I could see it having a lot longer sort of lasting effect. The fifth thing, it comes from these guys. They just so happen to be rams that used to live on our family farm. And for some reason they were like formative years because I've never seen them for a lot. But if any of you guys have ever uh, felt sheep wool, it's really, really oily. There's a product on sheep's wool. Essentially it's pretty close to what we would excrete from our sebaceous glands that you know helps protect our skin, give it the kind of oily shine called sebum. So from sheep, it's called lanolin. And it can be purchased in a concentrated form. Once again, 100% natural product. One of the big things about lanolin is it, it's very close, similar to what our dogs or cats would produce for their own sort of natural oil, similar to what we would produce. It has specific properties that one, it'll actually draw in additional moisture to that damaged skin, which is what you want. Third, it can draw in additional other ingredients. Yeah, that's why it's sort of often combined with other products as well. And it really, really, really seems to, you know, help decrease, you know, really add that additional moisture back into that really damaged paw, that damaged pad, make a huge, huge difference. And interestingly, I was actually discussing this with someone prior to doing the video. And they said of all the things they've tried, this has kind of been it, right? It's the lanolin. Let's try it on Tula. I've never put sheep oil on anybody or myself. Apparently it's really oily and it lasts. I'm gonna put some on my skin. Here's some lanolin here. Got this from my co-op. Let's see, it comes out really thick. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, maybe it's never gonna come out. It's too thick. Maybe I have to open something. Okay. Okay, yeah. Take two, take three. See that? Eight years of post-secondary education. Oh my God, look what I've deduced. Okay, now we've got our lanolin bottle able to be opened. Let's squirt it out and tell you what. Yeah, it's that really, see it's almost a, that yellow oil. You can see right there, I think you guys can see. That. Hopefully. Okay, Tula. Hmm. I think I sort of smell, but it's sort of mixed in with the coconut, the shea butter. So let's try some on Tula and see what she thinks. Here, Tula, a bit on your pad. Oh, it's very, very oily. Okay. So you think, there. You're never going to have cracked pads now. Thank you guys so much for watching this edition of Venery Secrets. If you've yet to do so, I'd love for you to click up there to subscribe to my channel. Click down there to like this video. And then when you click the link further in the box below, I can send you my free book on how to heal your pets at home with my top natural remedies.